The first book I ever tried to read in English was this one. And I don't know if you've seen how thick it is, but that's, that's a brick. That's basically a brick. Um, just because I didn't want to have to wait for the French edition, I took on more than I could chew. And I painfully struggled through the first chapter before I decided that looking into a dictionary four times to understand one sentence was too much to bear. And I would just wait a few more weeks to get my story in French. And for the next few years after that, I didn't read in English. If I could avoid it, I would. And that was a mistake because I missed out on the benefits of reading in a foreign language. Reading in a foreign language helps you see how the language works because you interact with the language in a meaningful way where you take your time to go through the words. You see how the language works. You understand the words, you see how they are written and you understand how the sentences are built together. Reading is almost essential to understand how grammar works. Reading books is also the perfect way to understand the difference between spoken and written language. In many languages, including English, but especially in French, there is a huge gap between spoken French and written French. And if you are just concentrating on the way people speak, it's good if you want to speak, but when you are starting to read, you don't necessarily understand how things work. And the language sounds more foreign when it is written or when it is spoken. So a little bit of both is important for you to understand the language as a whole. Because I didn't read much in English, I also missed out on a lot of books because not a lot of books are actually translated into French. And it's the same with English. Not a lot of French books are actually translated into English. So when you don't read in a foreign language, when you don't read in your target language, you are missing out on all those books, all those concepts, all those ideas, all those stories that will never be translated. And, and that's a shame because even if there is a translation of the book you want to read, you don't get the full picture. You don't get to understand how culture plays a role in this story because sometimes the translation also translates for culture. And so you stay in your culture bubble. So don't make the same mistake that I did. Start reading in French. But you don't have to start with a brick. You don't have to start with something like that. You can start with blogs and articles. You can start with small text and newspapers. Or you can pick up a book that you will enjoy. Something that is maybe smaller and easier than, than the sixth one in a series. For example, you can start with the first Harry Potter. That would be a good pick. I actually made a list of novels and fiction for the members of the French club that you can try depending on your level and the description, which you can download in the description below. But you don't have to confine yourself to literature or fiction. You can read non-fiction, biographies and such as well. You can read translations of your favorite epic novels too, like Harry Potter or Narnia, if this is what it will take for you to start reading in French, for you to find something that is interesting do so. All of those benefits of reading in a target language is why I try to read to you every month on this channel to give you the love of the written word because that's something that I do. I read a lot of books and I think that it's the best thing in the world. But also I want those videos to expand your horizon of titles to make you discover stories and authors and universes that you might not know about and that you will maybe enjoy. French, after all, is a language that is constructed over the written word and we have much to offer. We have plenty of old and new writers from all over the world too, which I think it would be a shame if you missed out on them. So if you have decided to start reading, I encourage you to click on this playlist where you can find the first chapter of books like Arsène Lubin and Around the World in 80 Days. And if there is a book that you'd love me to read, leave a comment. If you can find the bilingual version of the book where it's correctly formatted, that would be great. If not, I will try to find it, but sometimes it's not very easy. Salut!